大家好，我叫董颖浩，是一名专业的中国舞舞者。我来自中国湖北。在我来到 Louisville 之前的四年，我一直在 South Carolina 的第一所中文 Immersion School 教中国舞蹈和动作。去年的夏天，我搬来了 Louisville， 并且找到了 Crane House。在他们的夏令营，我教授了舞蹈和动作，也在世界文化节代表 Crane House 做出了演出。作为一名新移民，我明白社会的多样性对社会的发展和新一代的影响有多么的重要，所以我非常的感谢 Crane House 能给我这样一个平台，让我。继续传播我们的中国文化。I am with world-renowned ceramic artist and chef Sebastian Mo. I follow you on Facebook and Instagram. Your work is amazing.、Uh, you were recently featured in Taiwan Ceramic Magazine as a selected Timaku artist. How was that? Such a great honor to be featured in Taiwan Magazine, and, and many thanks to the magazine. And Lin Batian、uh, Mac Gallery in Taiwan.、Um, I, I'm so grateful. I had the opportunity to hang out with you during the Saint James Art Festival, which was wonderful.、Um, my membership allows me to meet wonderful artists like yourself. If Crane House wasn't here in Louisville, how would that have changed your life? I think many opportunities that I had before probably will never happen.、Um, 2010, Queen House、um, and provided me a solo exhibition called Heritage, and they got published in Ceramic Monthly. And 2014, I curate、uh, an exhibition called Poking the Lily Pad, and that's, that's just a wonderful experience for me. We are in Crane House's brand new kitchen, built with the generosity of past donations. And Chef Ping Louie has joined us to speak about his passions of food, spices, and fusion.、Uh, being born in Malaysia, the culinary paradise of Asia,、uh, I have the、uh, knowledge of a lot of ethnic cuisines because that's what I grew up with.、Uh, the three main、uh, races. Uh, Chinese, Indian, and Malay, and of course there is the、uh, former British colony fusion and、uh, surrounding like Arab and Indonesian also. So we were all infused in this kind of culture, and food being part of culture, most Malaysians are exposed to a lot of different ethnic cuisines.、Uh, fusion for us Malaysian is part of our lifestyle, and it. Translates into my lifestyle also because growing up, I have a lot of、uh, friends of different ethnicity, and so I'm exposed to their parents' food. And you go anywhere on the street, there's a lot of hawker food or different, like Mama cuisine, Indian cuisine,、uh, Nyonya cuisine, which is also fusion in itself. So I translate into my lifestyle also because、uh, to me, there is no bad food. Is good food made by good chefs and bad food made by bad chefs.、Uh, pandan is widely used in Southeast Asia. It is pandan is what we use, like what the French use with the vanilla. Also,、uh, I also enjoy using、uh, curry leaf. It has absolutely nothing to do with curry powder. It is called curry leaf. It is a component and hence, and of course, there is a Chinese five spice. Uh, I also enjoy cardamom, and、uh, also the last、uh, being、uh, kefir lime.、Uh, it's widely used. It's very aromatic, also. Thank you, Chef Lee, for joining us, and thank you for your continued support. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm Kenny Tian, and I am a volunteer here at Crane House. I've been coming here、um, about once a week. To volunteer, and I first got involved with Crane House through my grandmother and mother. And throughout my whole time volunteering here, I've helped out with special events such as the St. James Art Fair and also the New Year's dinner setups. My grandmother was a friend of the late founder of Crane House, Helen Lang, 
and she served on the board for 20 years and now my mother is serving her term as co-president of Crane House. So I feel very privileged to be involved with my family in this community's cultural center and I feel that my volunteer work is reflective of the importance of keeping that family tradition and as well as um, learning about my cultural heritage. I see Crane House as a serving as a bridge for second and third generational Asian Americans, especially for those people like me who can only understand certain phrases in Chinese and you know like eat with a fork instead of chopsticks. Uh, Crane House provides a comfortable place for me to still feel connected to uh, my Asian heritage. And I, I would like to see Crane House continuing to host exhibits, showcasing traditional things um, transform into modern day art. For example, um, Sebastian's teacups and also jewelry made from kimono fabrics. So what if Crane House didn't exist? How would that impact your life? If there were no Crane House, I probably wouldn't feel as connected with my background and my culture because I would, I would have missed out on so many great opportunities like um, teaching kids about Asia at World Fest this past summer at the waterfront. Um, it is only through Crane House that I feel or I'm not afraid to interact with other Asian Americans speaking in English uh, while feeling not ashamed and um, awkward that I don't speak Chinese. Good evening. My name is Joel Buno and I'm the executive director of this beautiful Asia Institute Crane House. Thank you all so very much for spending your time with us as we celebrate the auspicious Lunar New Year, the Year of the Pig. Now, can you imagine our region without the Asia Institute Crane House? No Asian-themed art exhibits or art openings? No engagement with the community where we teach things like Tai Chi, calligraphy, origami, or paper cutting? No fun food-themed open houses like Fun Night, Ramen Night, Lumpia Palooza or Dumpling Feast. No Teach in Asia, our 30 year long program where we recruit teachers and send them to Asia to teach English. So please consider investing in the community and helping us continue our mission of promoting Asian culture and heritage through arts, education, and outreach. Thank you again for your consideration of our investments.